He's really going all in. 216-578-1007 if you want to join us. 800-348-1007 if you don't. And uh, 35192. Send me a text. You can use the Alan Cox Show After Hours line anytime you like. If you are a podcast listener and can't call in real time. Or if you think it's something hilarious that you should have said while we were on. Uh, 216 Can I use it for that? You certainly can. <laughs> hey, Alan's Bill. Uh, I boobs. finally thought of something funny. Yep. 216-986-8903. AlanCoxShow.com. Yeah, there's plenty of things there for you to watch. Uh, you can watch the live show, of course. Throw Up Thursday is the woman's toenail removal. Oh, yeah. We've got the Alan Cox Show Instagram hotties up there. Uh, we're incorporating some local talent now in there. How would uh, how would girls submit themselves, Bill? Uh, if they wanted the, to be considered for the Instagram hotties. Send a picture to me, Bill, at com, and then a link to your Instagram. Solid. And it, the idea would be probably not to have a private Instagram. Yeah, right. It kind of defeats the purpose. You've got to do some reconnaissance. Yeah, yeah. And if you hit the contest tab at com, you can get in on Rolling Stones tickets because we're giving away those before they go on sale. They are set to play First Energy Stadium on the uh, Arena Tour Stadium Tour. They're going to play June 19th here in Cleveland. Uh, the Rolling Stones uh, fronted by former ACDC frontman Mick Jagger who is very excited to return to Cleveland, Ohio. There's a guy on Twitter whose name is Evan. His Twitter handle is Piggy Azalea. <laughs> she was an answer to one of the questions last night. For NSFW It was just a night? picture of her back and her butt, and it said, whose butt is this? Ziggy Azalea. How far were they zoomed in? Could you see any of her upper body? You could see like her whole back, like or the back of her head, her body. It was like a whole body shot. So you could identify her from, by the back of her head. From behind. No, it was just blonde hair. You know Iggy Azalea has a sex tape. Well, she dates a lot of ball players. I mean, that's got to figure that's part she of She had it course. before she was famous. Well, but you do that because you're trying to get famous. Because uh, sure as hell ain't getting famous off her music. I don't think she wanted it out. Uh, her, the guy that she was dating at the time it was like blackmailing her and trying to like leak it. Good because, pun. Because apparently he was supposed to be like her manager, boyfriend, or whatever. Oh. And she signed something saying that you know any music she makes with him, like that's her manager. So what he did it was try to make a make it a music video. So he put music behind it. He was like, well, now you guys can't do anything about it because it's a music video. Is it can is it out there? Is it on Pornhub or where is it? I saw it. Yeah, I don't know if it's the whole thing out, but where'd it, you see it? Pornhub. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Piggy Azalea uh, tweeted a photo from his apartment that went viral. This was in Minnesota. Uh, he lives in Minneapolis, and he took a photo of this dark, reddish brown liquid that was uh, coming from the ceiling and running down his wall, and he had called the super in to figure out what the hell was going on, and they found out that his upstairs neighbor had died. <gasps> and that it was the guy's blood. I can't find his Instagram. The, I guess the body had just decomposed to the point where the blood, and it looks like he's like in a... This is one of the reasons why any place I've ever lived and had the option of living on the very top floor of the building, I will take it. Because I don't want, not just for something like this, but I don't want people above me. I don't want people making noise, whatever. Conversely, Mary Santora, the very who is a mole person, mm -hmm. right? You're, anything that happens is going to happen above your apartment. Correct. And consequently, something like this would find its way into your apartment. I hope not. The lady above me just uses it to bang. So if there's blood coming through the ceiling after a meetup... Well, it doesn't have to be blood. <laughs> Imagine how much of the not blood there would have to be for it to seep into your apartment. Through the, through the floor? Through, through the, the floorboards. But even the blood, this guy, the cops went up and they're like, yeah, there's a body up there. But imagine how decomposed it would have to be for the blood to go through the floor, through your ceiling, drip down the wall. I mean, maybe this could be an old building that's not all that, you know... Well sealed. Yeah, that'd be tough. Do you it? have the picture up over there? I can't find it on Twitter. I, I do. See it. Yeah, Piggy Azalea is the guy's. Uh, that's the photo. <gasps> so it's like a dark, reddish brown liquid that goes all the way down to the floor, and drips. Oh my goodness! Through like the plaster in the ceiling. How much to take a lick? 
Any uh, none. I would never do, do that. for free? No, I would never <laughs> even do that, ever. He said that the Licking tenant... someone's dead blood. He Come found on. out that the tenant above him died two weeks ago. Oh. Two weeks! I'm surprised the blood got through before it smelled. Well, a lot of times there is a smell. He just wasn't a right, like close enough, I guess. But I guess ugh. not. Ah. And so There's other no people... No amount of money to lick it? To lick a dead person's blood the, off your wall? The guy's body's like a raisin, probably. Blood? Now. But, no. you, but you don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in the guy's blood. Yeah, he could have AIDS. Could have AIDS. It's all... The AIDS is all... After two weeks, the AIDS is all gone out of <laughs> the there. The AIDS is all gone yeah. after two weeks? Is that yeah. what it is? All right. Cure for AIDS. Just die and wait two weeks. <laughs> Your two AIDS is gone. Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, there you go. So I mean, there's something probably... It's probably not what that healthy thing to do. What would you do it for? 5,000? No, more than that. You would lick a random dead person's blood off your wall. For a, a lot of money, How much yeah. is it a lot? Uh, how much do I have to lick? Just one good look. A Yoshi. One Adam. Yoshi lick. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I would do it for 100000 You'd like a trail? $100,000? You'd like yeah. a trail of dried blood? Just, just one lick. You put your tongue on it? Just one lick. I go, oh. I want it. At, I want it. $100,000 after that's taxes. That's like almost I, how much yeah. I have in student loans. What if... Yeah, imagine having that all paid off. Uh, no. What if, like you gals, that drip contained Bill more than blood? $105,000. People were talking about... $95,000. $100,000 and 10 cents. Yeah. That's sweet in the deal for him. There's like a poll going around on Facebook talking about yeah. like, like students oh. would... Be willing to spend a week in jail to pay off all their student I would. loans, mm -hmm. but like I don't yes, know. these are the lengths that people have to go. I would now. go to jail for seven but, but days. That, if I didn't have any student loans. But ten thousand dollars a day to be in prison. But I does that, do that count as like a felony? Like they didn't say anything about like if you do you get no, it doesn't go on your record. record. But this I'm is a hypothetical hypothetical situation, so I guess we will never know. But I would totally go to jail. Well, I, just I think they just. I, I think me. they just. No, no. I think they mean. I don't think they mean. Would you want to be charged with murder and incarcerated? They mean. Would you want to be? Yeah, spend a week in jail. Would you want to be incarcerated? With no freedom for a week. Yeah. And I imagine one hundred and one percent of the people would say, Yes, I would do that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're to come out me. debt free after seven days. Three square meals a day. One quick lick. No. That's the name of Iggy Azalea's mm. porn tape. How about you, Alan? How much? Huh? How much to lick the blood? To lick the blood? The mm -hmm. dead person's blood. You don't know what they have. Uh... Chance in it. For a hundred grand, that's that's that's, that's a lot drastically of money. low. Maybe a hundred grand. Are you serious? I, don't know. I could. I mean, I'm already a millionaire. So what does <laughs> it matter to me? You're doing it for the sport. Yeah, love uh, the game. A hundred grand would. There's cars that cost more money than that. Yeah, I understand. There are cars that cost more than a hundred thousand dollars. You ever heard of a Kia? Uh, mm. yes. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard of twelve Kias? Because that, that's what it would take. <laughs> yeah, a hundred thousand dollars would be. Pretty good. That's crazy. And then you have AIDS. Then what? Now you're dead. No, it, that's not how AIDS works. Yes, it is. Uh, but if you lick blood that's infested no, with AIDS, you no. don't get it. But you probably. No, you won't but get here, it like but you that. ingest blood that has yes. AIDS in it. If yes. you ingest AIDS tainted blood, HIV. But it's got to be yes. fresh. But you don't know. You don't know that. You have to. You I have do to know that. The AIDS goes out of the blood after it's not fresh. The virus dies. I don't think that. When it's exposed, anything that's exposed to, to like air. heat yeah. or, yeah, yeah, over time. Now, that is if you knew for certain that it was infected with HIV. The cha you you would, guys are risking it. Right, but what are the chances? Mm -hmm. What are the chances that it was? I don't know how many people have AIDS. In mini what, Minneapolis? <laughs> Minneapolis. Percentage <laughs> of AIDS people. In Minneapolis. <laughs> <AIDS> people. <laughs> Minneapolis. If you're one of our bureau chiefs in Minneapolis, um, I apologize on behalf of Mary Santora for referring to your local <laughs> AIDS people. I'm offended by this, and I don't even have AIDS. Well, I don't know. Well, what to tell I don't know. Huh? <laughs> 296 cases per year. That's nothing. Yeah, that's not a lot. And by the way, it's a manageable condition in 2020. It's not, I mean, AIDS is not a death sentence. HIV. HIV is. Yeah. If it's, if it's AIDS, then. Mm, but if it's HIV, oh. I mean, again, if it's coming through the floor after two weeks, that's more than blood. Like I said, more than blood. That's yeah. decomposed body. It's yeah. grave wax. I'll it's probably the get whole sick. bug. I'll probably get sick. 
but maybe it's more protein. Maybe it's like placenta. Hundred thousand dollars <laughs> is not that much money, dude. If you got but sick, but it's also a lot of money. But if you got sick and had to go into the hospital, you might have more bills than that. Think well, about that. If you got sick and had to go to the hospital for a week, your your bills are going to be way higher than a hundred thousand dollars. I will have some whiskey to wash it down. Okay, Ron Swanson. What kind of whiskey? Yeah. Oh, Cleveland whiskey, of course. <laughs> Tell you what. Speaking of which, I'm so excited to learn when the weekend begins with Bill Squire's Friday Get Down, which is it's merely two hours away. Very excited. Very exciting. Especially for today, because we've got the polar blast. We need that weekend. Oh, my goodness. We the weekend, weekend begins. The polar blast begins. The crying begins shortly thereafter. The drinking begins. Mm, the the drinking's revel- going to begin the, in the way down. The revelry <laughs> begins. Galaga, galaga, galaga. That's what it's going to sound like when you're drinking that guy's blood. How much would it take you? No, I'm here's what it sounds it. like. That's one of those things where I'm, not, I'm not living in a murder house and I'm not drinking a dead person's God, blood. Boy, you have no brute. sense of adventure, do you? Oh, do I? No sense of do adventure. I, not? I just flew to Fort Lauderdale. How adventurous is that? Yeah, imagine flying there <laughs> on a private jet because you licked blood for $100 million. That's right. I'm not. What if the coronavirus prankster was on your plane mm-hmm. and nope. you jumped out and then said, oh, no, I don't have a shoot. <laughs> She'll lick that blood. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, C-H-U-T-E. <laughs> mm, what did I do? I bet he was just kidding about mm-hmm. having the coronavirus. And then you'd be dead. <laughs> and then we'd lick your blood for $100,000. Then we'd lick your blood for nothing. <laughs> Wouldn't take any money. Some listeners were like, can I have can I have a little bit of Mary's blood? I'm too? gonna get that in a DM. I heard you're selling blood. Yeah. What? Um, how much for that and a picture of your feet? How much for a vial of blood, a picture of your feet. You put the blood on your feet and let it dry. Yeah, it's gonna can... get real dark oh. real fast. Yeah, you can't die on this show because people would be like auctioning off your Hey, uh, I'll give the show like a hundred thousand dollars if I could cut a, a member a, a, a limb off of Mary. I respect I respect the corpse, but can I get some of her hair? Like it's already <laughs> dead, so your dad will be like, Ugh. Well, eh. She ain't no, she's Can't nothing get to me now. Saw it yep. off. I ain't paying for this funeral. Mm-mm. Well, Pound Cake, you better hope you don't die on the show. I'm oh, have, who cares? I'll have you stuffed and put right Taxidermy? in there. Taxidermy? <laughs> yep, I'll have him put in there. What pose will I have? The one, the same one as Lil Pound Cake. I'm just going to be, <laughs> hey, man. Why don't you have me hold a Lil Pound Cake? Hey. Huh? Why don't you have me hold a Lil Pound Cake as I'm dead, when I'm stuffed? No, no, no. You're going to be stuffed in there and put Christmas lights in your eyes. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. I mean, to replicate... The glimmer? The glimmer in his eyes, <laughs> right? Hey, man, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to cry if I die? I, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a crier. I mean, I, you know, I, I'd feel awful if you died. But again, you're 20, you've got eight more years, according to the Ouija board. Mm-hmm. It's going to go at 35. That's, I'll be long gone by then, but that's, nevertheless... That's a I good mean, age. What, what, 35? Yeah, that's a good age. A good age to die? Not to die, but like that's a cool age. Says who? Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean 35 is just 25, 35. What about it? It just seems like a dope age. Seems like a cool stuff. A dope age. It's pronounced dopage. Mm -hmm. Um, 35. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. 35 was fun for me. I don't remember what I was doing when I was 35. What's the best year of your life thus far? Like, did you have one year? I don't think it's happened yet, buddy. Next (laughs) year. Next year. That's right. Last year by far. Next year, because hopefully I will have already met President Yang. So, you know, you I'm ready for President Pete. <laughs> President Pete. Yeah. Well, they say. Have a bottom in the Oval Office. I'm ready for this. They say 47 is the year at which people feel kind of the lowest in their life. I believe On it. average. They're like, before that, you're feeling pretty good. And then people start to feel good as they get older into their 50s and 60s. Because you're like, it, yeah. whatever. Because like, well, do whatever. whatever. Right. Yeah. So 47. cold grasp of death. <laughs> right. Things start change. sending soup back. Mm-hmm. Not only accept it, but welcome it. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm licking that blood. Yeah, that does sound like you want an out. <laughs> no, he's living yeah, on the edge. Bad. He goes, what good is life if I'm not taking some chances? We only get one go-round... Spoiler alert, Jesus freaks. We only get one go round. And you Hindus. Buddhists, <laughs> all, of, yeah. all of you. Whatever invisible person you believe in. It's all over once it's over here, right? Once you're bleeding into your downstairs neighbor's uh, crib, it's all over. It's been over. That's it. So why not live it up? Why not get $100,000 for licking something gross? Why? 
What would you do with the money? Why not take some chances? What are you doing with your blood money? He would purchase more cool things to lick. You think he's just doing it for the money? <laughs> nope. Starting a YouTube channel. That's right. Watch B- Bill lick things. Bill licks things. Bill licks it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Bill licks her. Do uh, a Bill Hicks impression while you do it, and you can be Bill Licks. Well, that's too... Too much? Too too narrow. Oh, okay. That's too little, niche. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would just uh, probably pay off my condo, and that's all. And then keep doing this job. That's... No. No. You no. wouldn't want to pay off Bill's condo? No. Hmm. Alan, I was Boy. in the hospital for seven nights, and before insurance, it was under 50 grand. Yeah, but you probably were just taking naps, and you broke your arm. <laughs> yeah, you know how they keep you for observation for a week after you've broken your arm? Yeah. There you go. It was a nasty well, fall. Here you go. AIDS is bloodborne or sexually transmitted. Ingesting the blood would not enter your bloodstream unless you have a cut in your mouth or something. Boom. That doesn't so- I know what they're saying, that but that doesn't I st- sound right at all. They are that right. doesn't sound right. I, uh, well, may, what the I, hell do it, I know? Because it goes into your stomach, and your stomach kills the AIDS. <laughs> if you don't have a cut anywhere yeah. in that process. Well, I don't have a cut. You don't know that. You might have an ulcer in you, your, you, in your right, large You might intestine. have a small... But uh, it, it also takes more than just like a little bit. It takes I don't, quite a bit of blood that has AIDS in it. How and, much? And like a, like and a like cup. Like you said, once the blood is seeping down the wall, it's t- been exposed to the air and there then you it's go. not got the AIDS anymore. That's the more uh, appropriate uh, angle, I think, because mm-hmm. it's been exposed to the elements. For a while now. Mm-hmm. Can be transmitted through contact with blood, semen, geni- genital fluids, or breast milk. Just contact. Not just contact. Uh, yes, freehivtest.net is telling me that there it's just contact. There you go. So, Bill, you'd have to stop breastfeeding. But other than that, I think you'd get a, you'd get a clean, if you will, <laughs> bill of health. It is not transmitted through vomit, feces, nasal fluid, tears, sweat, or urine. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it. There goes my life of being a bug chaser. I want people to cry all over me. I can't muster those tears myself, so someone else will have to do it for me. All right, well, listen. Again, I don't know if I would be as... Gung-ho. Gung-ho as young Billiam over here, but you still, you got to take some chances, man. You got to live your life a little bit on the edge. You only get one shot. Eminem said it best, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? HIV cannot survive for very long in open air. No virus can. Parts of the body where high acid content, such as the stomach or bladder. Bam, I'm fine. Everybody Give me was that blood. Everybody was making fun of Trump because he said when the weather gets warmer, this coronavirus is going to go away, and everybody's like, "Ah, oh, what a dope." Scientifically, he's not wrong. I don't think that's what's going to make the coronavirus go away. But viruses don't last as long in warm weather or in heat. You know what I mean? And since everything is warmer now. So if I get AIDS, I'm just going to go to Miami and start a new life. Sweat it out, baby. <laughs> Why do you think South Beach blew up? Mm, They're Key trying West. to outrun the HIV. Key West. That's there must be sufficient amounts of virus in the body fluid. So Blood is a body fluid. Yes, but sufficient amounts of the virus in the body fluid. I'm just saying that's fluid. a big risk to take for 100 grand. Sufficient amounts of virus... At the Agora, Saturday night, <laughs> mm-hmm. tomorrow night. S A V, S A V. But I'm just surprised that there's no amount that you would lick it for. I'm not licking blood. I'm not. Why would I do that? For the money. No. Geico for your money. <laughs> okay. You can name your price. Imagine he does it. Nothing happens except he's a hundred thousand dollars richer. Then you go. And I like well, the same damn blood. No, you go. Damn oh. it! I, 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 sh- I didn't. I wasn't confident in taking the chance. He took the chance. Who dares wins, right? I guess. High risk, high yeah, reward. You like going to the casino. Yeah. It's a little casino for your mouth. <laughs> mouth no. casino is open for <laughs> substantial <laughs> amount of virus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me take a break here, okay? Okay. I got these. Okay. I got these. Uh, you, I, you can. I'll let you. Thank you. <laughs> on, on Mouth Casino, you're allowed to break. Right. <laughs> the new episode of Licks and Bill is coming up on the iHeartRadio oh, app God. next week. <laughs> Ministry uh, with KMFDM and Frontline Assembly at the world-famous Agora in July. If you want to go to that show, 
a hookup after. 430 is going to be your next shot to grab a thousand bucks and go fun to yourself. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app.